All right, section three is with matrix match and we have column one and we have column two here. It's all regarding nuclear process and we got to choose the correct link. The first one is nuclear fusion and that's very clear that will lead to option number R because nuclear fusion is basically the process involved in energy production in stars via hydrogen conversion to helium. In fact, in the middle deuterium is formed and all those detailed process you must be knowing. But as a matter of fact in our case nuclear fusion would be related to energy production in stars via hydrogen conversion to helium. For option number B it is fission in nuclear reactor. The first one is very directly linked absorption of thermal neutron by 235 uranium. In fact that absorption triggers all those fission processes. So B will have a direct link with P. Together in this particular fission heavy water is also used in order to slow down. So it acts as a retarder. So S would also be the correct option. Now let us go for option number C. For C which is beta decay this is a very valid answer where cobalt nucleus gets converted to nickel and in that process beta decay happens and particularly if there is a beta decay quite obviously neutrino must be emitted. So here C would have a correct link with Q and T. For number D gamma ray emission this would be a valid answer because when uranium absorbs a thermal neutron it converts to uranium 236 then finally to krypton barium and in this particular stage one or more gamma ray would be emitted. So that goes with option number P. For Q when cobalt gets converted to nickel then that process also involves emission of two gamma ray and energy production in stars when all those reactions takes place and the daughter nuclei gets excited and when it comes to the ground state even in this stage the gamma ray would be emitted. So this would also have option R. So these are the possible link of column 1 with column 2. Question number 20 is another wonderful masterpiece where a particle moves along x under influence of force and total energy is conserved that means it is all conservative force which is acting. A u naught is constant and the mass of particle is 1 kz. Column 1 gives different functions of potential energy and column 2 gives the conditions like whether the force is 0 at A, 0 or minus A, whether it is attractive and whether it would oscillate or not. The best way to do is that let us try to draw the pattern of potential energy and we can answer the question more easily if we take a graphical approach. Like this one the function to draw the graph at this level you should be able we would be having this sort of graph where at x equals to 0 this would be u naught by 2 and this is x equals to a this is x equals to minus a. Let us plot the graph for q. q is a very straightforward that would be an upward going parabola. Then let us see for r. The graph of R would be something in this pattern. It is exponentially changing graph A minus A and for S according to the given function although to draw the graph you require some detailed observation but after doing this you would be getting it is something like this. It would have a maximite A this is root 3A symmetric 
and this is minus of q naught by 3. So this is how we have plotted all those functions and their respective potential energy has been plotted. Now we will go stepwise about all the explanations of possible answers. Okay, now force is 0 at x equals to a that is valid. So a will have an option of p force is 0 at x equals to 0. Now you got to see that when is the force 0 when the potential energy is either locally minimum or maximum or if potential energy is constant. So in all 0 a and minus a potential energy satisfies those property. So q r would be valid for a. Next is particle experiences attractive force towards x equals to 0 in mod x less than a. That means in this particular reason the force would not be attractive because in order for the force to be attractive the potential energy has to go through a minimum. So in that situation this is going through maximum so therefore this option would not be true. Particle with total energy u0 by 4 can oscillate about x equals to minus a. So if it has to oscillate the potential energy should go through a minimum at x equals to minus a and together the mechanical energy should also be greater than potential energy because we know mechanical energy can never be less than potential energy and this is satisfying because at x equals to minus a potential energy is going through local minima and the value is also less than u0 by 4. So in this particular potential well the particle will oscillate so it will have option as p q r t. Now let us go with question number b. Clearly you could see that the force is 0 at x equals to 0 because there is the minimum. So this will be q and the particle experiences attractive force towards x equals to 0 in mod x less than a very true because at x equals to 0 it has a minimum function and this cannot be true because at x equals to minus a the potential energy is not locally minimum. Now let us go with option number C. All right, for option number C, the corresponding graph is here. You could see at 0, A and minus A, in all the case potential energy is either locally maximum or minimum. So force would be 0. So P, Q, R is there. And this option is also correct because particle experiences attractive force towards x equals to 0 in mod x less than A. In this reason, it is locally minimum. So S would also be valid and this would not be valid because at x equals to minus a it is locally maximum. So there is no point of oscillating. Then we will go for number D. Number D graph is here. So the force is 0 at x equals to a true. The force is 0 because potential energy is maximum there. This is not valid while this would be valid and it will not be experiencing attractive force mod x less than a in both the reason on this side it will be experiencing attractive force but not on this side. But this t option seems correct because at x equals to minus a is this particular point the potential energy is locally minimum and the potential energy is less than the mechanical energy which is u0 by 4 at this particular situation that would go on a positive note u0 by 4. So quite obviously at x equals to minus a potential energy is minimum and the potential energy is also less than the mechanical energy so oscillation would be possible so it will have PRT. So this is how it goes A will have PQRT, BQS, C as PQRS and D as PRT. So students this was the discussion of JE advance paper 1 of physics. We will be soon meeting in the discussion of paper 2. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.